Good man. Quick business-like walk back to the seats. Duck, duck down. Can't see if you duck. No. Brilliant. That is great, sir. What was the delay there? What took so long there? There was something happened out there that delayed you getting... Who are you with here in the front row? You're, you're with her? There's people here going, oh, that's why we didn't want those seats. <laughs> Leave her out of it. Just you now. <laughs> just, just a general admin delay there coming in. Good. What's your name? John, does anybody know John? I just want to establish this. Does anybody in the room know this man? Stand up, face the crowd. Let's just check. <laughs> John, jump up. This is, it's for a joke. I need it. I need you to pop up, face the room. Pop up out of the seat, John. Up you get. Come on, John. Face the room. Does anybody know this man? Uh, honestly, does anybody in this room know John? No. no. And the woman beside him is going, I don't even really know him. <laughs> I was full sure that some people are going to go, I actually do, I do know John, because it's, I can't tell you how good it is to be back in a, an accountable city. <laughs> C- Cork is a very accountable city. Having lived in London for 10 years, where it's just... You'd see people and you'd never see them again, right? And you know what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the massive number of pricks in London. (laughs) London has an insane quantity of pricks in it because there's no harm in being a prick in London. It's just it won't affect you. Being a prick in London is like doing a wee in the sea. (laughs) Sure, why wouldn't you? Might be a bit of crack. You've never done it before. Give it a go. You might like it. Whereas being a prick in Cork and Ireland. Being a prick in Ireland is like doing a fart on a car on a long journey. (laughs) Why would you do that? You've ruined the journey and it will be traced back to you. (laughs) John, I'm sorry for doing that to you. Let's have one round of applause for John. Good man yourself.